Well, at 8 o'clock this morning, the tree trimmers arrived. They cut this tree very carefully so that, as you may remember, the low branch on the other side of the tree is all grafted. There are a lot of Julie and Juliet grafts on that, those lower branches. So no damage occurred to them with all this tree trimming. They were very careful. Here's one of the piles of the tree from this morning. It's stacked pretty compactly, so this is a lot of branches. And we have a pile of logs on this side. A lot of the logs are just going to stay under the tree and rot. Um, it's like oversized mulch you can think of it uh, but then we've got this light dusting of not snow but sawdust so it sort of makes it look almost fallish or wintery South Florida Logs and tree trimming. We've got a little bit of rot on this one. Ugh. There's a lot of rot on that one. And then, of course, this is our grafted branch completely grafted with Julie and Juliet. So I had trimmed that back a little bit for the hurricane. So it's, once it starts growing, it's gonna really fill out. It's uh, very happy there. It's getting plenty of sun and it certainly will keep this part of the tree active with all of the, the sap flowing to and from those branches. But this is, hopefully the final height of major branches. Of course there'll be young branches shooting up from here, but we're, I'm hoping to put dwarf varieties onto those shoots and so that the tree doesn't get too big. Now, part of the reason to trim back, of course, was to be able to reach the fruit. And I think that's accomplished once the tree gets fruit again. Of course it's going to be a few years before it, it does fruit. 
But another thing was there were some health, unhealthy branches. And so we were able to get a lot of nice, good cuts uh, that should heal up better than the previous ones. But you can see over here, there's, there's rot coming into this uh, part of that branch. There's several other places that have rot, some of them larger, some smaller. Uh, but we tried to clean that up as much as possible. And of course, leave the a good framework to uh, graft onto. So all the lowest branches were left and I think it's going to work out really well. Of course, now we have to wait for the new shoots to form. And that could be a while, but actually this time of year is a pretty good time for the tree to recover. If we had trimmed this at the beginning of the summer, the, the sun is so bright and so hot in the summer that the risk of sunburn to these branches would have been a lot higher. So I'm hoping that the combination of the new shoots forming, hopefully quickly, and the leaves that we left on the tree, keeping the tree somewhat active, will minimize the sunburn on these branches. But anyway, I know it's a shock to see the tree like this after we just saw it beautiful and round and well with one huge dead branch in the middle from the hurricane. But anyway, it's cleaned up now. It looks like a skeleton, but it is going to look gorgeous.